What's up guys, my name is Brandon and almost two weeks after releasing iOS 11.3 beta 3, Apple returns on a Monday with the release of iOS 11.3 beta 4. So in this video, of course, we're going to be going over what's new and if you should update or not. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the size of this update and then get into some of the changes. So as you can see, it came in at 398.2 megabytes here on my iPhone 8 Plus. Of course, that size will vary depending on your device. If we go out, let's go into the settings and check out the build number. So you can see the build number is 15E5201E. So of course, a long build number as expected as we are expecting at least a couple more betas of 11.3 before the final release. All right, so let's go back and talk about the changes. And the very first thing I want to talk about is the install of iOS 11.3 beta 4. The install was the quickest I've seen on any iOS release yet. Any iOS 11, iOS 10, any beta, any kind of update whatsoever I've ever done. This is the fastest I've ever seen it done via OTA update. I don't know if it was something that was changed server side or if it's something that Apple just changed in the operating system. Whatever they changed, going from iOS 11.3 beta 3 to beta 4 was the quickest I've seen ever. All right, so now let's talk about the changes in beta 4. So the first thing I want to mention is that with beta 3, I had a very big issue with connectivity. So my Wi-Fi and my cellular service would just randomly go out at random times every couple hours. And it was a very, very annoying bug. And I saw some people having issues with cellular on Twitter as well. Some people messaged me saying they had that issue, but I didn't see anybody say they had it with Wi-Fi. So maybe it was just me. I tried the reset all network settings that didn't work. It still persisted. So I think it was an issue with beta 3. So I wanted to wait a couple hours after installing beta 4 to see if that issue persisted and it seems like it did get fixed in beta 4. So definitely good on Apple for fixing that because that is a detrimental, you know, bug that was in beta 3. So now in iOS 11.3 beta 4, we now have iBooks instead of books. So in iOS 11.3 beta 3, it got reverted back to just books. They took the i out for some reason, nobody really knows. Maybe it was just an error or a mistake, but it's back to iBooks now in beta 4. And I have seen people saying that the iBooks application is actually smoother and they don't have issues in there anymore, but I don't use it, so I can't really comment on that. So in beta three, when you close out of an application and open it back up quickly, you would get a black screen, but that appears to be fixed here in beta four. So you can see when I go out of it and go into it quickly, we do not get a black screen, which was pretty annoying in beta three. Also in beta three, the weather would sometimes not load the hourly and just the weather overall, even just right here, would just not load. You would have to, you know, force quit the app and go back, but that appears to be fixed here in beta four as well, which is really nice if you do use the weather app application. Now, unfortunately, AirPlay 2 is still nowhere to be found. We still do not have AirPlay 2, which is super unfortunate, especially if you have a HomePod. But, you know, I guess we'll see that in the near future. But it's just annoying that it's gone now in iOS 11.3. So those are pretty much the only changes in iOS 11.3 beta 4. Really just more of a polishing. Apple's just getting to the stage of 11.3 right now where they're just polishing up the OS. I can't really see many new features at all. Uh, just a lot of bug fixes coming up with the future betas. Uh, I'd expect maybe a couple more betas of 11.3 before the final release. As far as battery life and performance, both have been great. That's nothing really too, you know, phenomenal or too terrible. Nothing really to comment on. It's just very close to what we've seen in previous versions. And like I said, Apple's really just polishing the OS at this point. So really don't expect too many big changes to come in the next few betas. But of course, the final release of 11.3 will bring a lot of features. You can go back and watch my beta one and two videos where I showed some of the new features. Those are going to be great for people who are not in the beta program. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. You guys know I like to keep you as up to date with iOS as possible. So that means even bringing you small beta updates like this just to let you know what's going on and keep you as up to date as possible expect a new jailbreak update video tomorrow and also more jailbreak related content later this week but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button also make sure to stay tuned for a lot more ios beta coverage jailbreak coverage and a ton more coming to the channel but anyways guys thanks again for watching and i'll see you soon